Final Cut Pro now offers you complete freedom in how you organise your various productions. You can place your libraries, your render files, and your external media wherever you wish on your system and on your external drives. To help you keep track of all this data and to manage it as simply as possible, we have created Final Cut Library Manager. Sort your libraries with a click. Display only those that are currently online or offline. You can instantly find a library based on its name, the media files it uses, or even its exports. You can open it, duplicate it, move it, create a template from it, and even delete it. You can also comment your libraries and access the list of their exports, whether they've been exported to a file or to the internet. And of course, you can reclaim hundreds of gigabytes of disk space by safely cleaning one or more libraries at once. OK, let's look at this in detail. When first run, a set of sources is automatically listed on the left-hand side. These are the drives on which your libraries and linked elements are stored. You can organise them, hide them, delete them. You can add them manually in the event that they are not indexed by Spotlight. And you can even focus on a folder rather than an entire disk. On the right-hand side, you'll find all the libraries that are present on the sources being displayed, if necessary, accompanied by the caches containing render files, their media folders and other external files. And since Final Cut Library Manager keeps track of your offline libraries and media files, you can tell at a glance which disk to reconnect to bring everything back into order. Now, let's open a library in Final Cut Pro either as usual, along with all the other libraries that are already opened, or by itself, via the contextual menu, or by holding down the Alt key at the moment that you double-click. Final Cut Pro opens with as little overhead as possible. To help you further manage your libraries, it's also possible to filter the list to show only those that are currently open in Final Cut Pro, those displaying an alert, or all the others. You can therefore filter the list in the way that's best for you. Since you're not having to use the finder, you may as well avoid it completely. Final Cut Library Manager allows you to duplicate, move and delete your libraries. Let's take the example of a copy. Simply choose the destination and the operation will start. Of course, you may choose to cancel before it's finished. Finally, once finished, the new library is added to the list. OK, imagine that you need to find a library containing a file called Kotogali. As soon as you start typing, you can find libraries, events, projects, and even media which you remember having imported, according to its file name, its name in Final Cut Pro, and the keywords which you have given to it. You can even search based on the name of an exported file. That's right, there's no more need to go searching in the Finder or on the web. Final Cut Library Manager lists your exports accessible with a click. Open them directly. Show them in the Finder. Go directly to their web page. Or send a link to this page directly by mail. With one click. Inevitably, there will come a day when you'll need to do a spring clean. Film after film, render file after render file, your system slows down and your disk becomes full. Final Cut Library Manager offers you the possibility to clean up with ease. Simply select the type of files that you no longer need and with one click, delete them. Even better, you can do this for several libraries at once and even for an entire disk. Final Cut Library Manager leaves alone the files that might be dangerous to delete and in no time at all, you can safely reclaim gigabytes of disk space. Now it's over to you to use Final Cut Library Manager, either free of charge with its basic management functions, with the Advanced Management License, or even based on your needs with the extra options. Finally, we'd love to have your comments and suggestions, which you can leave via the Send Your Comments menu. Thank you, and until the next time.